I know you've heard all the basics. Don't use sulfates, don't use silicones, don't wash your hair every day or apply styling products on wet hair, so on and so forth. I know you've already heard those things. I'm sharing five curly hair mistakes that nobody is talking about and how to fix them. Let's go. I noticed 80% of the people who watch these videos haven't subscribed yet. If that's you, then this is your time to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new videos. Mistake number one, ignoring ingredient sensitivities. Even if your favorite curly influencer loves a product, it may not work for you if you're sensitive to certain ingredients like proteins, glycerin, or even some natural oils. Did you know some curly girls experience protein sensitivity where too much protein causes their curls to feel brittle and dry? On the other hand, others are sensitive to humectants like glycerin, which can cause frizz in humid climates. Keep a hair diary to track how your hair reacts to different ingredients, especially after wash days and adjust your product choices based on your hair's unique needs. Mistake number two, skipping hair repair treatments. When you regularly color or heat style your hair, many people don't realize that even if your curls look fine now, without repair treatments, you're setting yourself up for long-term damage. Heat styling and coloring can cause protein loss in your hair's cortex, weakening the structure of the curl, so that's why it's crucial to repair this at a molecular level and on a surface level by using protein treatments or deep conditioning masks or products specifically designed to restore damaged curls. Start by adding, incorporating regular protein and moisture treatments to repair and maintain your curl structure. For heat lovers, <laughs> That is, those who try, who like to blow dry their hair from time to time, it's okay to do it. Make sure you use a bond repair treatment, say for example like Olaplex. This is not the regular Olaplex 3 that you can do the at-home treatment. This is not it. This is number 2, which you can do at the salon. Salons have number 1 and number 2. Check out my blog for the full description and the stepwise process for all Olaplex products. This is made in India. A little dance, a little dance. Okay, because it's made in India. <laughs> Someone first of its kind and all that. And also it works and it's clean. And it's post shampoo. So it's not a pre-shampoo one. So you shampoo your hair, make it all clean, and then you apply a little bit of this and leave it on maybe 10 minutes. If your hair is kind of protein sensitive, like if you have thick coarse hair like mine, you keep it le less time. But if you have fine hair, wavy hair, deeply deeply color treated hair and if you have damage or keratin those kind of bad things happening in your hair keep this for 20 minutes and then rinse it out and style as usual be very very careful with this one uh, you need very less so don't use too much we just need a little bit i'm going to show you how i use it but my biggest takeaway with this product is use less and on damp hair pre-shampoo have you enjoyed this video so far? If so, go ahead and click that like button because then the YouTube algorithm will know that you like videos like this and it will show you more videos like this. Mistake number three, product overload. Many curly girls think more products mean better results. But in reality, this can weigh your curls down and cause product buildup leading to dull, lifeless hair. Instead of layering product after product, focus on using the right amount and combination for your hair's needs. Less is more. Less is often more, especially when dealing with dense, heavy creams or gels. Product buildup can prevent moisture from penetrating your hair shaft, causing dryness over time. Using a clarifying shampoo occasionally helps cleanse your curls without stripping them of your natural oil. If you have thick coarse hair like mine, maybe you should not use a clarifying shampoo every single wash day because that can dry your hair out. So you have to look for gentle shampoos and gentle cleansers as of course sulfate free. But the frequency of clarifying shampoos is different based on your hair texture.
In my latest interview with a curly hair blogger with fine curls, I have coarse curls, she has fine curls and her routine is completely different from mine. And if you haven't watched it, I'll link it for you in the description. But the base, the basic gist of her routine is that she uses a strong clarifying shampoo, then uses a leave-in conditioner as a conditioner. She, so she applies it and rinses it out. And then she only uses a hairspray. That's it. You see how different products are needed for different texture, different type of hair. No flakes. I'm trying to show you flakes, but I don't have any. So I wish I could have some so I could show you. But this is how a clean scalp looks like. No product build up, no flakes. Because I don't use very, not many. I don't, I may layer a lot of products, but I don't use them in large quantities so it doesn't build up and i also use products that are silicone free and have clean ingredients so they don't build up either mistake number four ignoring your scalp health while we focus so much on the length of our curls we forget that a healthy scalp is the foundation of strong and healthy hair a dry irritated or clogged scalp can prevent healthy growth and lead to hair thinning or slow growth if your if your scalp is feeling itchy it could be build up so you use a shampoo to remove it you don't apply oil over that build up that will clog your pores for sure causing more hair loss the fix include regular scalp massages and clarifying treatments to keep your scalp healthy and stimulate growth scientific fact your scalp produces natural oils called sebum which helps protect and nourish your curls. A buildup of product or an overly dry scalp can disrupt this balance. Mistake number five, not protecting your curls from environmental stressors, UV rays, pollution, and humidity can damage your curls over time. Scientific fact, sun exposure can break down the protein bonds in your hair, weakening your curl structure. Also, pollution can cause product buildup and scalp irritation. The fix, use products with UV protection, anti-humidity serums, and cover your hair when you're spending extended time in the sun. These are the five lesser known mistakes that could be holding your curls back. If you're struggling with damage, frizz, or curls that are just not holding their curl shape, even after doing everything, then try and do these fixes because these little fixes can make a big difference in your routine now i want to know what is the one mistake that you are guilty of tell me in comments and we can brainstorm or whatever i am going to lose the light and i want to show you how i apply the bond repair treatments but too bad you can't see my skirt it's really nice.